Basic rundown is take it out of the box, take the plastic off, put the handlebars on, put the oil in, put gas in, and you're pretty much off to the races. Welcome back to the channel. Spring has sprung here in New England, and before long, it's gonna be time to mow. Right now, it's actually pretty chilly out, but I figured I would pick up a brand new Toro Recycler 21. Now, this is the rear wheel drive self-propelled version of the recycler line and i paid about 370 us for this so under 400 dollars for a self-propelled mower from toro it i feel like that's pretty good if you're just getting into lawn care maybe you just bought your own home and you have a lawn to take care of now and you picked up the toro recycler 21 this video will hopefully help you get started with that mower. So let's jump right into it. First thing we're gonna do is open this up. It does say on the top not to cut it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the sides like this, and then I'm gonna get it started with my knife, and then you should just be able to rip that up. I say that, but even if you use your knife, just keep lifting it up uh, because right here, if I open this up, the bagger sits right underneath that top piece. So you just wanna be careful not to slice the bagger open. Now, one thing that I thought was really interesting as I was picking this up from Home Depot is that most of the lower end mowers now don't have side discharge built in or they don't come included with side discharge. I grew up always side discharging. Mulching was something that didn't work well and it almost seems like they're pushing everybody towards mulching or bagging. So that's one thing I noticed with this. It says it mulches, bags, and is side discharge ready. So we'll talk about that here in a little bit when we get it put together. Talk about the side discharge. If that's something that you're interested in, you want, then hopefully this video can guide you to where you get that side discharge and how that all works because it's a little confusing. So we've got some cardboard pieces we're just gonna take off of here and set those aside. There's these little cardboard inserts that we're gonna slide out. The handlebars here, we're gonna take that, I'm just gonna kind of lift it up here so we can get this cardboard insert out. That has your oil attached to that. We're gonna come back to that here in a minute. Let's take the bagger off of here. Now let's, let's take care of this for a second here. So this bagger is your standard Toro bagger. And I'm just gonna unwrap the plastic from here. And then once you get the plastic taken off, it's as simple as taking these little clips on the bag, clipping them onto the frame. Just go around and do that here. There's this little piece here that clips on around the bracket that I assume holds this into place when it's on the mower. At least these are tight and they'll stay on. So then expand the bag. Hopefully over time that'll kind of stretch. That's about as big as it should be. And uh, it's gonna fill up pretty quickly if your grass is long. So just keep that in mind as you're mowing. So let's jump back to the mower here. Take your knife, make sure that the mower is not up against this edge here. And we're just gonna cut the corners of this end of the box. I'm gonna come right up there. And um, they've actually marked the top of the box to say to cut that. Um, just be careful, don't cut your finger off. And uh, I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna cut this side as well. And what then we're gonna be able to do is lift or roll this mower. <laughs> I'm not trying to purposely wreck this mower. Um, the handlebars are loose, as you can see. We're going to take this and we're just gonna slide the mower out like this. We're gonna discard the box to the side. So here we are, here's the mower. As you can see, the handlebars just kinda sitting loose here. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna, gonna just set those aside here. So a little bit about this mower. It's self-propelled by the rear wheels. A lot of mowers these days are self-propelled by the front wheels. What this allows you to do is if you're turning or something like that, you can lift up the front and it stops the self-propelled part. With the rear wheel drive, it's always going to be propelling those wheels. So it's kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. A lot of times it comes back to personal preference. Uh, I grew up with rear wheel drive. My mower now, the Recycler 22 is front wheel drive and I really like that. I, I really don't have a preference either way now, um, but this one's rear wheel drive. Everything's down here. You don't really have much up here besides a plastic bumper. 
the height adjustment on this is only on one side of the mower. So it's on the right side of the mower and it adjusts for both wheels. So up here, you've got six different adjustments. Uh, make sure the mower's off when you do this. Never, ever, ever adjust the mower while it's running. Um, because a lot of times you may need to lift the front and the back of the mower just a little bit. And the last thing you want to do is lose your fingers. So just give it a little lift. The back one here, again, is the same. When you do the one side, it lifts the other wheel as well or lowers um, the deck. So that's nice. You only have to do one side. The top here, let's take this plastic off. We have the owner's manual here. We don't need that because you're watching this video. The instructions here do a really good job of telling you how to set the mower up without using any words. So that's why I think a video like this is helpful because it can get a little bit confusing. So what we're gonna do, let's set the handlebars up and then we'll talk about oil, gas, and we'll get this thing started. So the handlebars, let's take the plastic off of the bottom here. And then we've got some plastic in the top here. So we're gonna take that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the handlebars and there's these two handles. Unscrew this part of the handle and there's this little bolt. We're gonna leave that in there. We're gonna just set that in there. Take this one off as well. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this handle. We're gonna do one side at a time. Take out the cap screw that's there and you have two height adjustments on this, a lower one and a higher one. There's not an angle adjustment, so you can't adjust the angle of the handlebars, but there is the height, so you can define two different heights. I'm gonna go with the higher one, same height on both sides, put that cap screw through, and then we're gonna take these two plastic knobs that we took off, and we're going to screw those back on here. Takes a little bit of gymnastics to do this. Screws in there pretty tight. Keep screwing, those cap screws are pretty long. You wanna get that all down so it's tight against the handlebars. I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna tighten this one up as well. The cap screws have a little square part. Make sure that sits inside the inner handle. And there we go, we've attached the handlebars to the mower. All it is is these two knobs with the cap screws. Pick your height, get it screwed in there. All right, so now that we've got the handlebars connected, let's take the pull string slowly pull that up and it's going to be really tight because the oil isn't in the mower yet so nothing's lubricated there's this little coil on the handlebar itself take the string and just slide that inside and i did it the wrong way you want the handle to be resting right on this coil so pull the the cord through there that way you can start the mower when you're standing back here like so. We're not gonna do that yet. A couple other things I wanted to talk about here. On the back, let me swing this around. This is where the bagger sits. So to show you a side angle, I'm gonna take this off. There's two little nubs on the bag on each side, the left and right side. Slide that and those sit right down in the two little divots here in the plastic. And then this comes down. Mine doesn't sit perfectly. There's just a little crack up top here. I don't know if that's on purpose. So air doesn't build up in here. I'm expecting I'll get a little grass flying up through there. Um, but it does sit tight against the bottom here. So that's good. And that's how you get the bagger on there. Really easy. It doesn't take much to lift it in and out, which is nice. And then you can go and empty the bag through the bottom or the top. So now let's get some oil and gas in this. Gas is on this side. It has a little icon of a gas pump on it. Oil is on this side. So don't put gas in the oil and oil in the gas because that's not going to run for you. To put oil in this, do a half twist on the oil filler and take that right out. I'm going to set this right here. We're going to take this oil that came with the mower here. And open that up, take that right out. And we're gonna put this whole thing into the mower. It has a little seal on it. We're gonna take this oil. We're just gonna dump it all over the mower deck. No, we're gonna dump it and it might take a little bit because that filler's not very large. So pour slowly. Don't pour like I'm doing. Um, get it all over. I'm gonna slowly get that in there. So once you've put the oil in, I'm gonna put the cap back on the oil. We're gonna put the dipstick back in there. And again, half twist to close that. 
We're gonna put some gas in here. We're gonna use regular unleaded gas. You can use just the regular gas at a gas pump that you put in your car. Do not put mixed gas in here. So this is not trimmer 50 to one mixed gas. Do not use that. It should be clear. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put the gas in here. Don't overfill the gas either. So just be careful when you're putting that in. And there's no primer or anything like that. This should be pretty easy to start. There is an air filter on the side here. I'll just show you that. There's a clip on the top. So check that every once in a while. If it's running a little difficult, you may just need to clean the air filter. So back over here, we've put our oil in. And what we're gonna do is take the rest of the plastic off of this. There's a little bit here. And there we go. Let's talk about these handlebars here for a second. I'll bring this closer to you guys. We've got two levers here on the handlebar. The top lever, you have to hold that down in order for the mower to run. So it's not even gonna start if this handlebar is not down. This bottom lever controls the self-propelled. So you're gonna hold this down when you start it. You're gonna hold that down the whole time you're running it. Then this bar here, you can reach over the top with your hands and that controls whether it's powering the rear wheels or not. I will note this mower is probably the lightest I've used in a while. Very light mower. You could push this around your lawn, but why would you? Because it has the self-propelled built in. So back over here, now what we're gonna do is we're not going to hold the top bar down. And what I wanna do is just kind of distribute a little bit of oil that we put in, because this is a brand new engine, brand new mower. We're just gonna slowly pull this and distribute a little of that oil in the engine before we start this up. Just a few pulls should be good. You can always check the oil level right here on the top. Just do a half turn, pull that out. Let it settle for about maybe three minutes or so. So on the oil stick, there's actually two dots. You want the oil level to be between those two dots. Obviously right now the oil, because we were just pulling it, is up higher on that stick and that's okay. You're gonna wanna make sure that oil settles before you do any sort of check, before you use a mower. And just wipe it off, stick it in, get a fresh reading and you should be good to go. So we've put gas in, we've put oil in. Now we're gonna hold the top bar down and we're gonna give this a nice swift pull. Now let's talk about the side discharge chute because it doesn't have any and there's really no information that I could find anywhere here mentioning a side discharge in the manual, on the mower. The only place I saw advertised was in the store on the plaque it said mulch, bag, and side discharge ready. So where do you get the side discharge? What you're gonna have to do is register the mower with Toro. To do that, you go to toro.com slash register. You're gonna enter in the model number and the serial number, which are on the other side of the deck, but it's on a label down here on the lower side of the deck. I'm not gonna show you because it has my serial number on there, it has your five digit model number and probably a nine digit serial number. And you're gonna punch those in along with your name and address on that website. And there's some little verbiage at the very bottom and a checkbox that says request discharge chute. And there it says that they don't ship the discharge chute with the mower. And if you wanna request it, you have to check that box and they ship it to the address you entered when you register, or you can have it sent to a different address. So it'll take about three to four weeks. When I get that, I'll do another video showing how to put that side discharge chute on this mower. But for now, that's how you get it. A Little bit inconvenient, kinda of like why didn't they give you more information on that? It's like they're trying to force you to use the mulch or the bag. But for me, I have over an acre to mow. And while I'm not mowing the whole thing with this, if I was doing a lot of mowing and the grass was long, I would want to side discharge that. So when I get that, I'll do another video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And I hope this video was helpful for you. I think this is a great option if you're looking for something like I mentioned, entry level, or even just something that's gonna be light and easy to use. Guaranteed to start, so what more can you ask for? Again, make sure you're wearing proper safety gear when you're mowing, earplugs, and have fun mowing. Happy spring, and I'll talk to you guys soon. <music>